Don't leave me hanging. It's go time. Hey everybody, this is Josh, and here we have an entire best of seven show match series being played between Root QXE, he is the blue Terran up here on the top of Metalopolis, and Liquid TLO, the purple Terran over on the left. And yes, I did say Terran. Many of you know TLO actually switched to Zerg recently and has played at a couple of tournaments already. So yes, the show match series is a bit old. It's actually from patch 1.1.1, but I have not found the show match in its entirety posted anywhere on YouTube or Ustream or anything like that so here I'm gonna bring you the entire best of seven series and uh, TLO actually was a very good Terran player when he did main the race so I know that he'll be able to put up a good fight against QXC who's been playing Terran since the beta and uh, TLO actually recently got fifth place at MLG Dallas by playing Zerg didn't quite do so well at uh, DreamHack but QXC at the MLG events has always placed in the top 15 at all of those events and actually took second place at the Intel Extreme Masters American Championship. If you remember, I actually gave away a signed fake check that he let me have uh, on the channel a while ago. But uh, this TVT should be nice and long and hopefully very creative play from both QXC and TLO. TLO actually known for being very creative. QXC very well known for being extremely um, pressure based. He likes to do lots of drops and things like that so I don't think we'll see very stagnant games. I think there'll be a lot of action going on at all times and I'm um, looking forward to watching these games for the first time actually. And TLO actually uh, looks like both players are going to be doing the very standard Terran build getting the depot barracks uh, gas and then that orbital command once that uh, barracks completes. It looks like QXC was the first to scout and TLO is just now reaching uh, QXC's base. It's going to be interesting saying QXC and TLO over and over and SCV. I'm sure that will be a tongue twister later on but uh, so far so good. Both players still right on time with their build orders. Watch this production tab. You'll see these marines and orbital commands are almost right on time with each other and uh, both players still have their SCVs alive, checking out what they can. TLO actually almost lost his and probably would lose it uh, by the time that Marine came out, so he's actually going to go ahead and go home. QXC actually uh, may have snuck out and back in there with his SCVs, actually sticking to the perimeter here, so he might actually be able to do some sneaky tech here or just save his SCV later for some free scouting. And uh, TLO can't find it anywhere. He's sent, actually sent this Marine around to look for not just um, the SCV, but maybe proxy barracks or something sneaky like that, and we'll see uh, if that Marine actually makes it all the way to QXC's base there. No, it does look like he's going to head home as well. Uh, what else is going on here? we got a factory coming up for both players, so both players actually could be doing 1-1-1 builds. Neither player has gotten a second refinery yet. Actually, QXC is about halfway done with his second refinery, so he might be a little bit ahead of the game if he's going for 1-1-1. QXC actually... Um, our TLO, rather, could be going for heavy tank marines as uh, QXC actually actually getting a, a reactor here, so he could he could actually be going for tank marines. I'm not sure, <laughs> but uh, QXC actually still has his little hidden SCV down here. No, TLO. Okay, so TLO is going the 111 build, and QXC is also going 111, but uh, it looks like he's building a Hellion quite quickly. I'm not sure if this factory is going to flip over onto that reactor or not. Uh, actually, the starport may be the one that uh, initially, or eventually, actually uses that reactor to crank out some medevacs, but for now, QXC just going to be building marines and Hellions. TLO, on the other hand, already has a Hellion out and the same number of marines. He's just going to go try to get some scouting done, but he's going to find that QXC has basically the exact same setup at his ramp. Uh, he might be able to get a couple of blasts off on the SCVs, but I don't know if he's going to actually kill anything um, before these Marines and other Hellion catch up to him. So here he is circling around the base, and that Hellion does uh, put an end to that. So now the starport is complete. He has not flipped it onto this reactor yet, so it looks like QXC is going to be sticking to Marines and Hellions for the time being. TLO, on the other hand, getting his second gas now... Uh, and cranking out pretty much the same thing. Marines, Hellions, and Medivacs for both players. And the two Medivacs from QXC show up at the front door. They're not going to be able to get up there with this many Marines and Hellions fighting back. So he is going to go ahead and uh, head home. Now we see an armory building for uh, TLO. Where is that armory at? I swear I see it. Oh, it's right there in front of me. Duh. Okay, so the armory's done. Blue Flame's actually coming in for QXC, so he saw that huge number of Marines and knows that pre-igniter upgrade would be quite good against them. Uh, he only made one medevac. I'm not sure. Here it is actually moving across the map, but it doesn't have any units tucked up inside there. Uh, TLO, on the other hand, actually did bring units 
into his medevac and is poking at the front with the Hellion. So uh, actually trying to do a two, uh, two prong attack here. I'm not sure what he's going to be able to achieve. The numbers here are just so similar for both players. Pre-Igniter is not going to be done though. So uh, this actually could be a little bit effective. Actually, it looks like both players kind of just swapped Marines and uh, the Hellions on both sides actually survived that fight. He did get a free look into the space though. He sees that the starport has a tech lab on it and that uh, the barracks is actually hooked to that reactor. QXC probably got some scouting information as well. I don't know if he saw everything. He did see the armory complete the did not see that second gas, but now a command center is being built for TLO, so he's going to be expanding here relatively soon. QXC looks like he's going to continue uh, trying to do some one base play for the time being. This first Viking of TLO shows up to try and take some shots at the medevac, but of course these uh, marines are in a good enough position to ward him off. Not sure what the second barracks is going to have. I'm going to have to assume tech lab just so he can get stim pack and uh, eventually combat shields for these marines, if not switching into marauders. And QXC does take this nice uh, Zilnaga tower in case TLO comes back with his own medevac drops. And the Viking getting repaired up there. Uh, looks like QXC is on the move with four Hellions now. He did not see that command center building earlier, so I'm not sure if he's going to try and gun it straight up the ramp. Oh, and these pre-igniter uh, Hellions actually torch these Marines and these Hellions very, very quickly. The Viking actually has to land to assist TLO, and uh, QXC got a few kills there before heading home. Siege tank's coming out now. It looks like he has switched off of pre-igniters. He does not have uh, siege tech researching just yet, but I'm sure it will be coming... Uh, quite soon. He's getting a command center up now of his own while TLO's orbital command is morphing there. TLO actually pushing across the map now. He's got a Thor in tow and a couple of Vikings here to protect that medevac, but I don't think the medevac's really in danger of going down. He can drop that Thor here and there he does. He's got high ground spotting uh, with all of these air units here. We'll see what TLO is able to do here with this giant force, QXC actually pressing in just head on. He does not have siege tech yet, so he's going to come in blasting. There's no repair force here for this Thor, so it's going to go down relatively quickly to all of these marines and these tanks. Notice that these marines actually don't even have stim. Actually, neither player has gotten stim yet. Instead, both of them are focusing more on tech uh, units like these siege tanks and the Vikings that we saw out of TLO. He's getting more Vikings now, and these Thors. Now he's got the repair force coming. No, actually, he's just transferring SCVs. Uh, now it's going to be a repair force, so he's trying to make up his mind. TLO actually lands this Viking here and tries to ward off QXC once again. Siege Tech is researching now. I'm wondering if QXC might even uh, mix in some more Hellions. Um, these Siege Tanks are a little bit more of an investment, but uh, the Hellions with uh, Pre-Igniter already. Yeah, there we go. There comes another Hellion coming out there. Pre-Igniter upgrade is really no joke against this uh, big number of Marines that we saw earlier. And now um, TLO looks like he's pretty much abandoned by a abandoned the bio build. I don't even see but one barracks with no add-ons and now we have two factories with tech labs here. So Thor's maybe his main concentration. Actually now two more barracks coming so he is switching back into bio. He's got four gas here off of two bases. QXC just now getting expanded over here. Doesn't have an orbital command making just yet so the income should be heavily in TLO's favor in both mer minerals and gas and as we see it is the case. Uh, even though the harvester count is actually very very close here uh, TLO's income is just way, way higher. He's got that mule to help with minerals, and he's got two other gas um, refineries already going fully saturated here. Actually, this one might be beyond fully saturated, but uh, it looks like he may have dropped four SCVs onto this one. Anyway, three Vikings now moving for QXC. He is getting that orbital command there at his base. Siege tech already complete for him. Uh, what is that? We've got um, vehicle weapons level 1 researching for TLO. He does have a couple of tanks out and they do have siege tech already as you see them parked here. QXC probably just going to be poking back and forth with these Vikings. Uh, we've got a little bit of a scouting war going on here as TLO took out that SCV at the Zelnaga Tower, but QXC actually comes to reclaim it right away. He's sending a drop now with six Marines and one Blue Flame Hellion. TLO actually already has a spotting supply depot here, so if uh, QXC doesn't drop in the smoke, he may just want to take it all the way to the mineral line, and there it looks like he is going to do that. I'm not sure if TLO actually saw that, or he would be pulling units to come defend against this. Uh, here we see the parachute drop, so to speak, where he just keeps moving and dropping units as the medevac goes. Now the SUVs are actually just going back onto the minerals. Wow, this Hellion had seven kills. I did see it right before he died. He had seven kills. 
not bad for just a single Hellion. And three Marines actually picked right back up, uh, dropped yet again. He might actually get some more kills. The Medivac doing some healing there. Still no stim pack done for QXC, but we do see it researching now. Uh, these Vikings move in to kill off that Medivac, and the Marines obviously are going to fall as well without that healing support to the tanks of TLO. So TLO wards that off, but QXC actually got quite a few kills there. Um, obviously more than TLO would have liked. And if we look at this production tab here, it's all Thors, Marines, SCVs for TLO, and QXC is still keeping a nice unit mixture here. He's got Marauders, a lot of Marauders out now to deal with those tanks. He's got tanks of his own. He's got Vikings coming out to deal with TLO's Vikings. And it looks like his uh, unit composition is just more balanced overall. He even sent a Hellion over here to kill off these patrolling Marines. Got three nice kills for himself there. This SCV came and scouted and was quickly killed by the siege tank line. And uh, both players um, really just trying to make as many units as they can uninterrupted before... Uh, clashing again. Here we see QXC's mineral income is way above uh, TLO's after TLO lost all of those harvesters at the main base. Uh, gas income is pretty even here now as well uh, because they are both working off of four geysers but neither player actually able to expand right now. They don't want to try to take that high yield or this third base just yet while their enemy is so close. QXC is going to send a roving band of uh, Vikings over here to see what he can pick off. There are no